In today's message, we're talking about how you can always tell a man that doesn't have the wisdom to lead a woman. Let's talk about it. to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spirit Filled episode. Today I'm back at it in the trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, I'll say this, man, in my younger years, probably about 16, you know, even joining the military at 18, all the way up until about 27 or 28, I myself was a man that had been in relationship with several women, I'm talking about long-term relationship with several women but I didn't have the wisdom to lead a woman. And what I'm talking about is when you look in scripture, the basic instructions before leaving earth, the Bible, you will see that the role of a man is leadership, is headship and authority, you know, to impart wisdom, you know, on your wife, your kids, to God. Every man in the scriptures, that was in right standing with the Most High Yah, that was the role they fulfilled. But, you know, when you are a younger man, you might be entertaining these women and you might not have the wisdom to give guidance, to give correction, to give training to these women so they can be submitted to you and not be counterproductive in your mission and your goal. What am I talking about? Man, you can see these men out here and it's almost like you're asleep. You have the woman, but she's not getting the wisdom and the benefit of having a man to be her protection, to be her covering. Like, like scripture says, Christ is the head of man, man is the head of woman. You see what I'm saying? Some people don't even let Hamashiach or Jesus Christ be their covering, their sleep. Just like some men don't fulfill the role of a covering to a woman. And as a, as a man, as a husband, when you look at the covenant between a man and a woman, a man is supposed to impart wisdom on his woman. But you see it all the time with young men. Man, they'll let their they woman come out there half naked. And they wonder why men is sitting up looking. You got, you got your girl out there wearing something that's lingerie. She half naked, no drawers on, no bra on, and you wondering why dudes is whistling there. You wonder why dudes is shooting a shot. I tell you, you don't have the wisdom to lead her. See, you know you got the wisdom as a man when you see the potential situation that could happen coming and you say something to her. That don't mean she gonna change her actions. But if she respects you, like scripture says, if she submitted to you and she honors you, like scripture says, she going to listen to your wisdom. She might go out fighting, but she going to listen to your wisdom. Hey, I understand you want to wear that dress. That's that's actually a nice dress. But based upon them yams you got, you need to put on some drawers. I can tell you don't got on no drawers. You're going to bring unwanted attention that's contradicting to the mission we own, to the mission I'm on as a man. You're going to you gonna end up wanting me to, to, to defend, you gonna end up wanting me and expecting me to defend your foolishness when you can control the amount of foolishness that comes your way as a woman by simply putting on a bra, wearing some drawers, you know, not doing all this, this, this crazy. Let me tell you something, as a man, when you self-correct and you say, man, you know, maybe I need to clean up my speech because I see how my speech my bad speech is, is affecting my woman and she's saying the same thing. But a man that has the wisdom to lead, he's gonna address it. He's gonna say, hey, stop all that, stop all that profanity. That's not ladylike. That's not of a feminine spirit. That's not meek and modest. How is what you got on meek and modest? How is you talking crazy and being loud? How is that 
the spirit that the most high y'all, but the man that has the wisdom to lead, he's going to give that correction. But when you don't have the spirit to lead a woman as a man, you just kind of sleep. You in a daze, you numb. You might be busy trying to be Pepe Le Pew, trying to be uh, uh, Mr. GQ, not realizing that man, yo, your woman, she needs that correction from you. That's the reason why you are covering. That's the reason why you are a protector. She can't see the danger out there. You see what I'm saying? That's the difference between you dressing, you giving your woman the wisdom to say, hey, you need to wear this because this is what's gonna happen. See, men out here can look at you and see if you respect, respect yourself by the way you carry yourself, by the way you dress yourself, and you don't want to be a victim out here to one of these weirdos because you out here butt naked and then wonder why you was targeted and not the lady that's dressed modestly. You're going to realize that some of these men, and here's the thing, men out here, it's all too common that men out here lead with their money and you are, you will be spiritually dead while you leading with your money because your woman is getting no guidance. She's not growing as if you were giving her wisdom. Same thing, man. A lot of y'all will sit up, no good and well, your wife can't cook, but you won't give her the correction to, to help her become better. Don't have the wisdom to lead. You, 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 you get so caught up in losing what's in between her legs that you forget the role that the most high Yah has imparted on you, has placed upon you. Man, you, you know, some of y'all know y'all wives is killing y'all. Y'all woman is killing y'all with the food, with high sodium, fried food, and you won't say nothing. But you'll be like, yeah, it's good. It's good, blood pressure steady going up. Cholesterol stay, steady going up. But you gotta have these conversations. Hey, hey, I need you to make sure my days is long. Cook me some vegetables. Cook me something healthy so I can be here for you. You know, another thing, a lot of y'all with these women, that's got these uh, these nose rings, they be wearing bras, nipple rings is showing, and y'all wondering why these women is no good. The scripture talks about this. A woman without discretion is like a like a ring in a pig's nose. You look at the you look at the doggone the bling and you forget that there's no discretion there. Man, you can't respect your man as a woman and you out here doing the same stuff that modern day Jezebel is doing, modern day Delilah is doing. And here's the thing, as a man, you have to say, hey, my protection, my provision, it protects intimacy that we have. You know, a lot of these women will wear all these clothes when they at home with you, and when they go out into the world, they have naked. And that ain't the way it's supposed to be, but you gotta have the wisdom to call it like you see it. Some of these women, they will go out here and do this because you allow them to do it. You won't say nothing. You won't say nothing at all. And every man out here is seeing what you supposed to be seeing behind closed doors. That's intimacy right there. That's physical intimacy. Even if your woman does have this stuff, these, these, these nipple piercings and all of this stuff, belly button ring, hey, cover yourself up. All of that stuff ain't of y'all no ways but it's a Roman Greco culture. But if she does it, hey, let me enjoy that. Scripture says the woman's body is not her own. It's not her own. But you get in the house, she wanna wear all this stuff that look masculine. And then when you go out in the world, she wanna be uh, a Victoria's Secret model. You got to say something. You got to say something. It comes down to you having to say something and giving her boundaries so she don't disrespect you as a man. But you gotta have the wisdom. That's why I encourage men to get in that word. Women too, get in that word. So, your, so you already can be on point and your man can be like, hallelujah. My wife, my wife was doing this well before I got on the program of righteousness. Men and women, get in that word, get in that word. A lot of men, you are gonna realize that a lot of your women that at one point you didn't have the wisdom to lead and when you start coming in line with scripture, some of these women is in contempt. Some of these women claim to love the most high Yah, they honor him with their lips, but they heart is far from him. Heart is far from when it comes to action and what he's actually asked them to do, commanded them to do. They got a fairy tale 
God in their mind, a whole nother deity that they worship it. Why you think they don't call the Most High Yah by his name? They just say God. There's multiple gods. Who are we talking about? Most men don't realize when they're out here entertaining these women, they don't have the wisdom to lead them anywhere righteous or to victory. Closer to God, ministry's kicking it gun bro straight. <laughs>